Mazuma TV back with another video. All right, guys, let's talk about this fight that just happened. Terrence Bud Crawford versus John John Molina Jr. All right, guys, um, Terrence Crawford did terrible. You know what I'm saying? Uh, John Molina was landing punches all night, rocking Terrence Crawford head back. You know what I'm saying? And even stopped Crawford. Psych, I lied. Nigga, my man Crawford beat the shit out of John Molina. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Damn, my man whooped that. Ass. Shout out to Terrence Crawford. Beautiful pivot, man. The man was using that pivot all night. Um, he should just stay a permanent softball if he's just going to be doing that shit every fight, man. Beautiful, beautiful skills from the softball position. Kept that jab out all night. Was landing it pretty much at will. Um, started to get to the body. Roy Jones pointed it out that the body work was taking a toll on John Molina. Def and it definitely did. Um, from the beginning rounds, you could see that John Molina was um, getting frustrated. Um. Uh, what else? He he was landing. He, and another thing that impressed me about Terrence Crawford tonight was his ability to punch while on the while uh, backpedaling. You know what I'm saying? A lot, some fighters really can't do that. Some fighters can only punch coming forward. But Terrence Crawford has just shown to have it all: the power, the skill, the technique, and uh, really his IQ really showed tonight in the ring. Beautiful boxing exhibition by Terrence Bud Crawford. Um, John Molina, a really tough competitor, but he was never on Terrence Crawford's level, and it showed tonight. Uh, I was just watching the shit, and I was like, damn, how could John just take that many fucking punches? And they were clean, effective punches. I believe in the fourth round, I got I, I put the tweet out on Twitter, um, at Mark Mazuma 5. Uh, Terrence Crawford landed 49% of his punches in the fourth round. That's pretty much, he, for, every one he, for every two he throwing, he landed one. So, pretty accurate punching. Uh, I could definitely see the comparisons to Floyd Mayweather and uh, how he handles the fight, how composed he stays, and how he sticks to his game plan. Was sticking the jab out all night. It was it was blending beautiful right hooks from the southpaw position as well. Um, throwing good counter uppercuts. Just It was just an exhibition. He definitely pulled a lot of tricks out of his sleeve today. And um, I'm looking forward to see what else he does. I mean, he's pretty much shown that nobody, the top guys at 140 aren't on his level, clearly. So I'm looking forward to Terrence Crawford, if not moving up to 147, which I doubt he'll do. It seems as if he makes 140 pretty comfortably. Um, I would like to see him unify his entire division. I mean, he got the Ring Magazine belt, he got the WBO, and he has the WBC. So go ahead and get that IBF and that, and that um, whatever other, but there's too many belts, man. I'm sorry. I think it's the WBA and the IBF, so you might as well go get those, my man. Uh, just, just go for it. You know what? I'm gonna talk about this shit in the following video that I'm gonna put out. Until then, I'll see y'all niggas later. This is Mazuma TV, and we out here.